I could say home tab. We're gonna we're gonna wrap it alignment and wrap the text and then center it. That's one way I can do it. But then it makes this whole column really wide. And if I do anything on the right hand side that has less the less amount of space that's needed, then I might not need that. So I sometimes unless I'm creating it or making it into a table, instead of doing that, I'm just gonna undo that undo. And I'm just going to use the, the number of cells that I need. So I'm going to, I'm going to call this beginning and then the next column trial balance for the header. And that way I can have my full header spaced out the way I want it. And then I can also just make it look like a header without three columns with using color formatting. And then I'm going to pull this accounts down to the bottom. So it's right down there at the bottom. And then we're going to say entries. This is going to be the entries column. And then I'm going to have the ending trial balance here. So then let's go ahead and center these. I'm going to do this as my heading type thing again. So we're going to select these items. And we're going to center it. We're going to go into the font group. We're going to hit the paint bucket and make it black and white. Black and white there. We'll do the same thing here. Making it, I'm not going to center it, but I'm going to make it black and white in the font group. Paint bucket black and white. So there we have that. Now I'm just going to list out the accounts. These accounts, we're just imagining these accounts. Some of these are going to be the major accounts that we'll be using. And, uh, and some of them, I'll kind of point them out as we go. But the idea is that we want the accounts uh, in assets, liabilities, equity, and then the income statement. So starting this off, we would say, okay, the checking account, which you might put as cash from general accounting standpoints. And then I'm going to add undeposited funds which is an item you might use when using like QuickBooks software or it's an in-between item, like some kind of software. It doesn't have to be QuickBooks, but any kind of software you might be using some kind of in-between in account, like you're holding on to the cash, but you haven't put it into the checking account yet. And we'll talk more about that later. But And that's something you might not see as much in normal kind of accounting classes that aren't using, say, software because they're not really digging into the breakout between the different types of cash accounts for purposes of lining up the bank reconciliation. So we'll talk more about that later. So then we're going to say accounts receivable, receivable, 